online session of Children's Storytime. This week's theme is ducks. Super appropriate for the rainy weather we've been having this week, and of course, it's springtime, and I always love a nice story time about ducks. So the first thing we'll do is we'll sing our good morning song to get us in the story time mood. Then we'll sing our flannel board song about ducks and get to a few duck stories that I just couldn't choose between, so I decided to read them all to you because they were just quackable. So, you ready to sing your good morning song? One, two, three. Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with bright shiny faces. And this is the way to start our new day. Give yourselves a hand as we go over to the flannel board. So this is our flannel board for this week. It is the Five Little Ducks song. So if you're familiar with it, feel free to sing along as we count down the ducks as they go over the hills. So we'll sing together, all together, on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And four little ducks came running back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And three little ducks came running back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And two little ducks came running back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And only one little duck came running back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And no little ducks came running back. So mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And all five ducks came running back. So can you see? One, two, three, four, five. All ducks came running back. Quack, quack, quack. Now that we've had our duck quota filled with our flannel book, flannel board song, now we get to read our books. We're going to read our first book, Quick Duck by Mary Murphy, and it's published by Candlewick Press, and it's a cute little board book. And it's Quick Duck, and what do they say? Quick Duck out of the mud. Quack. Quick Duck under the hedge. Quack. Quick Duck around the flowers. They're off. 
off to find whose duck he is. And the first place they go is the library, which I thought was fun. Quack! So the duck wants to go in, and he sees all of those books, and just says, Quack! Is this your duck? Yes, the giraffe librarian. No, that is not my duck. The duck has already picked out a whole pile of books and has his library card ready. And then it looks like he takes the alligator over to a reading corner and starts reading, and they read together. So then they leave the library, and the duck's in the wagon reading all of his fun books, and it looks like he's enjoying that book going quack, 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 quack. And he's full of quacking laughter. And then they walk by a movie theater, and they see a sign called Dogzilla strikes again. The poor alligator looks scared, but the duck looks excited. He says, quack, 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 like he really wants to go. And so the alligator uses the opportunity to ask, is this your duck? And the, and the duck says, quack, duckzilla, monster from the pond. So guess what? They're going to the movies together. <gasps> no, that's not my duck. So the duck buys some movie tickets and look, they're in the movie theater together. And the duck is having a blast. And the alligator, not so much. The duck's saying, roar, roar, dogzilla, dogzilla, go, 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 razzilla. The poor alligator just looks scared. So now they're leaving the movie theater with a lot of fun dogzilla merchandise. The poor alligator, he's just collecting himself. Now they're walking by a go-kart track. Quack! So guess what? The duck wants to go go-karting. And the alligator takes the opportunity to say, Is this your duck? And the duck is already with a helmet on going, Groom! Nope, that is not my duck, said the elephant go-kart person. And then on that page you can see the duck is driving and he's going, Quack! because he's having a blast driving. The alligator has his eyes open. And then, oh, it looks like they see skydiving. And he is super excited. So he says, quack, 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 quack. Um, is this your duck? That is absolutely not my duck. But it looks like they purchased two skydiving tickets. Whose duck are you? and they've landed in a tree. Uh-oh. What a bummer. The duck says, I'm your duck. You're my duck? Yep, I'm your duck. And it looks like the alligator's pretty happy with that in this picture. And then he reflects on all the fun things that they did together, like going to the library and reading, going to the movies, go-karting, and, and skydiving together. And he realizes, you are my duck. And then down in the corner here, the duck is making something. He's got a chef's hat and a bowl. So, if you're my duck and I'm your alligator, they ask because they eat pancakes. The duck says, I thought you were a crocodile. And that's the end of Nobody's Duck. I just thought the ending was fun. I enjoyed that one. The next one is Swim, Swim, Sink by Jen Harney. And it's published by Disney Hyperion. And I like this one because it shows some really good problem solving. One happy duck sits down to rest. Three tiny eggs, one twiggy nest. Three eggs hatch. Crack, crack, crack. Three tiny ducks. Quack, quack. Three tiny ducks in one straight line. New happy flock, all feeling fine. Three tiny ducks jump right in. Splish, splish, splash. Swim, swim, sink. Wait, what? Let's try that again. Three tiny ducks jump right in. Splish, splish, splash. Swim, swim, sink. Hmm, I didn't know ducks could swink. So, this is a problem. Ducks need to swim. And all of this sinking is ruining the rhyme. Maybe a quick running start. And a great big jump. 
Or maybe not. Did he still sink? Yes, he did. How about a push from below? Water wings? Or state of the art scuba gear? <laughs> or stilts to stay high and dry? Never creative. Or a jet ski! That's really creative. Hmm. And he sees a leaf down on the water. Bang, 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 bam, 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 clang, clang, clang. Blah, 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 tappy, tap, tap, tap. Obviously, building something. Wait, they got it. Let's try this again. Three little ducks swim, swim, float. This clever duck used its shell as a boat. Made it a pirate boat. Isn't that fun? Quack, quack. What is the pirate say? And that's the end of swim, swim, sink. I love all of the solutions that they tried to come up to because they were sinking. They ultimately became a pirate duck. I thought that was a lot of fun. So the next book is a classic book that I always read when I do ducks. It's called Do Like a Duck Does by Judy Henley, illustrated by Ivan Bates, and it's published by Candlewick Press, and it's just a fun little story that I love reading to everybody. Five little ducklings following their mother, whatever any duck does, so does every other. So they waddle and they hop, and they scuttle and they stop, flop, 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 all together. Quack, says Mama Duck, that's the way to be. Do like a duck does. Do like me. There go the ducklings, all in a line. But who's creep creeping close, following behind? Wait, says Mama. You don't belong with us. Stop, says Mama. Do you think you're a duck? But of course, says the stranger with a waddle and a strut. That's just what I am, a big brown duck. Well, he has no feathers and he has no beak. He has four claws on his hairy, scary feet. He has two ears that stick up a mile and a wicked foxy nose and a wicked foxy smile. So Mama says, well then, do like us. Head up, tails up, toes pointed up. Stretch your little wings there and straighten your back. Do like a duck does. Quack, quack, quack. Then Mama leads them off together. Up, up, up. Five little ducklings and a big brown duck, a hairy, scary stranger, a very silly duck. Look, says Mama, what a lovely patch of muck. Jump in the puddle, dear, show you're a duck. Lots of bugs and beetles swimming in the scum. Open your beak, dear, yum, yum, yum. Is that what the fox wants to eat? Oh, no, no, no. He does not want those bugs or beetles. Now the very hairy stranger has some notions of his own, and he's looking at the ducklings when he says, yum, yum, and he's creeping ever closer, and he's very, very near. But Mama turns and catches him and says, look here, you don't like bugs, you don't like muck, and you can't say quack. Are you sure you're a duck? Yes, I am, says the stranger. It's really, really true. I can waddle, I can scuttle, and I can strut a little too. I'm a duck, I'm a duck, I'm a duck like you. So Mama says, show it, prove you're a duck. Do it like a duck does, do like us. And they zip through the thistles, and they slip into the river. Plop, 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 all together. Down go the ducklings, all tails up, and down goes the stranger. Glup, glup, glup. Where are all the strangers? Where's all the ducklings now? Here all they come. Pop, 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 pop. Everyone. But where's the hairy, scary stranger? Gone home. Well, says Mama. I know that's the next line. Well, says Mama, what a bit of luck. But I really always knew that was no duck. And that's the end of Do Like a Duck Does. So she knew the whole time. She was just testing him, seeing how far he'd go.
Ready? One, two, three. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day today. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day today. And that's it for story time. Thank you for joining me.